everyone, it's Vesper Star of As Morning Star here with another video. So in my one of my spiritual beliefs video, I admitted that I am a dastardly demon worshiper. But that being said, I did in that video say that I wanted to make another video kind of explaining what a demon actually is. So that's what this video is going to be. So stay with me. <laughs> this might be a bit confusing and maybe convoluted because even though we can speculate about what a demon or even a deity is, we'll never actually be 100% sure. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying I'm right or anything. These are just kind of my experiences and personal beliefs. So what is a demon exactly? I've mentioned in previous videos that the word demon comes from the Greek or Roman word daemon. And back then, daemon was what was referred to as a spirit that was somewhere between gods and humans and often worked as messengers for them, but they were also seen as guardian type spirits. It wasn't until like sometime in the fourth century that the word daemon became demon and was synonymous with an evil spirit. And so honestly, in my personal experience working with and worshiping demons, they're actually still pretty more similar to what the word daemon means than demon. While they aren't exactly messengers between gods and uh, humans because some demons don't really get along with deities and vice versa. Even though there are some that do really get along, like Loki really vibes with the demons and vice versa. I do find the guardian role still really fits them because, you know, if you form a very strong bond with a demon, you're probably gonna be very safe unless that demon wants to put you through some trials and tests but otherwise like they're very good protection spirits that being said what exactly are they as i mentioned in my last video spirits both referring to gods goddesses demons and etc are essentially personified energies you know which it's kind of hard to fathom what that is, but they're basically forms of energy that have their own personalities and their own desires and wants and dislikes and likes. It's weird to think about, but that's kind of the best way of describing what it all means. Now, you'll hear a lot of new age type people saying that demons are low vibrational beings that kind of latch on to people because we are also low vibrational. I do not like this type of mindset because it's kind of there to put down others because the goal for that idea is to become high vibrational and it kind of leans into purity culture. So I don't follow that mindset, but in a similar sense, I will say in my experience and in my belief, demons are on a lower plane of existence than say angels or gods and goddesses, but that doesn't mean that they are lesser than or weaker than these other beings. It just means that they are closer to us and thus they have an easier time interacting with us or the environments around us. That being said, I do find them a lot more easier to communicate with. And that's probably why it doesn't take much to actually invite a demon into your space. If you already have these connections with demons, just saying their names will be enough to make one just kind of pop into your space just to see why you're talking shit. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, if you don't 
already interact with demons, you don't have anything to worry about because they kind of just don't care about people in an overall sense. You know, there's this belief in other religions that demons want to steal your soul, but I'm sorry to break it to you, but human souls are a dime a dozen. They're actually pretty worthless. <laughs> and if you offer a demon your soul, they might just laugh at you. But that being said, you know, don't jokingly offer a soul or offer your soul at all. But there are negative entities out there that would want to harm you. So just proceed with caution. But those things aren't technically demons. They're their own thing. Which are honestly probably what people are actually interacting with in ghost hunting shows. I was going to mention that too. Because people watching paranormal TV shows. Or people will be haunted by something. And their first thought when it's more violent and aggressive is that it's a demon. But that's not always the case. In fact, human ghosts are a lot more aggressive than <laughs> demons are and you can't really trust a human ghost because they don't really change from when they were a person so if someone was a horrible person in life they'll probably still be a horrible ghost so a lot of these attacks are just done by angry angry ghosts <laughs> and a friend of mine even brought up, they're like, well, if someone's talking to a ghost on like one of those little uh, machines, I, I'm blinking on what they're called, or a Ouija board, and the ghost wants someone to leave them alone, what are they going to say? Are they going to say, oh, my name is Steve, I want you to leave, or are they going to say, I am Satan, I want you to get out of my house? Honestly, if I was a ghost, I would probably do that. <laughs> Get off my property, you breathers. Oh, another thing I saw is a lot of people will assume that you have to start working with gods or goddesses first before moving on to demons. But this is treating divinity as a stepping stool. And I'm highly against this mindset. In the path of demonolatry, we actually start with demons and work with them from day one. Because, like, if you are called to working with demons, why would you start working with gods? And then, when you feel like you're ready, would you just drop those gods and then move on? I find it personally disrespectful if you're just kind of working with these spirits and then throwing them away when you're deemed ready or something when going into deity work you should keep in the mindset that a lot of demons were also considered to be gods at one point of time before they were turned into demons by modern religions even gods like loki or hades were tried to be made into demons by like Christianity and stuff. In an alternate point of time, these two gods could have been turned into demons. They just weren't. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. And also a lot of people will think they have to start with nameless kind of lower ranking demons. But this is actually more dangerous as those demons are unpredictable. And it is recommended that you do actually reach out to demonic royalty first. You know, a lot of people will work with Lucifer and they'll have similar experiences. And you know what Lucifer likes, what he doesn't like. But you don't have that kind of help with a nameless demon. So that is something to keep in mind. But as always, just stay safe. Working with demons can be very hectic. They can d 
disrupt your life and upheaval it. But that's just because once you work your way through that, you will end up in a better place. And working with them, worshiping them can be a very rewarding practice. <laughs> they aren't evil. They're heavily misunderstood. And they're actually some of the nicest spirits I have ever met. Lucifer himself is so kind and loving. And while there are a lot of demons that can be considered more intense, you really want to have experience before working with them. And even if this isn't for you, uh, you know, don't put down the people who do view demons as deities and, you know, love them. <laughs> because it's kind of a jerk move to look down upon people who have different beliefs than you. So I just wanted to say this. I'm sorry if it's rambly and all over the place. <laughs> I thought this was just gonna be a short video and it ended up being a lot longer because there was a lot more to cover. And as always, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll eventually do a Q&A if I get enough of them. I mainly made this video to kind of smooth over some misconceptions about demons and to hopefully allow people to not be as terrified of them. Like I said, everyone's paths are their own. If you are not called to this path, do not try it out because I do feel you have to have some kind of interest in demons or draw to them. But. If you don't, that is completely understandable. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye!